All right, so you already know when it comes to Nomad products, they make some of the best leather cases out there for the iPhone. It makes some of the best Apple Watch straps out there as well. But this time, they got an all new case that I feel like is my favorite Nomad case that they make. All right, and this is going to be the all new Rugged. All right, y'all have been blowing me up asking about it. We in here. We got them in. Let's go ahead and get into it. They do come in two different colorways. You can get this for any of the iPhone 14 models that you have. This is the Rugged case, and this is going to be like in an ash green, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, ash green in black all right those are the two colorways that you're going to get with this so we're going to sit the ash green one to the side all right and let's go ahead and get into the black version so it says groove size allow for a more secure grip fortified air bumper offers 15 feet of drop protection so that's what you're working with when it comes to the rugged and i've and, and i've used it and it feels like it can take 15 feet of drop protection all right slim and durable design with that mag safe all right so let's go ahead and get into it nothing else in the packaging classic OG Nomad packaging. All right, so put that to the side, but let's go ahead and take a look at the actual case itself. All right, for now, this to be a rugged case, I almost consider this case very minimalistic. It means there's not a lot going on to it. Now, you know, a lot of rugged cases out there on the market just has too much going on. It's just like, why do rugged cases just have to look busy? When it comes to the Nomad rugged case, it does not look busy at all. I think it keeps a very clean aesthetic and kind of fits in line right to what Nomad is basically known for when it comes to their cases. So you're gonna get that PET, which is gonna be a very hard plastic on the back. Now this plastic has a very nice soft feel. Now when I first slapped it on, I was like, is this gonna be something that gets marked up over time or something like that? But I honestly had this thing in my pocket with keys and you wipe it. I mean, this thing really does a great job resisting some of those little micro abrasions that you can use and put keys and stuff throughout your pocket. It has just enough of that soft felt feel to really resist it, man. So good job, Nomad, on the back right here. That feels absolutely amazing. And while you're taking a look at the back, they also has these raised corners, all right? So you're gonna have the raised corners so when it's on, it's gonna actually lift your phone up off the table and it looks like this case may not wobble, which is gonna be a big thing because I know a lot of you love cases that don't wobble when you put it down because some of you like to do some table texting and stuff like that all right you're going to get that range raised camera bezel here and taking a look on the inside very nice felt lining which is another nice touch because most rugged cases they're not giving you a felt lining on the inside they don't care about the back of your phone they care about protecting your phone and nomad is doing both when it comes to this case all right of course you get that mag safe very strong reinforced bumpers as you can see right here you're going to get some of that shock material to be able to absorb some of that drop protection 15 feet of drop protection when it comes to this case buttons you basically have almost like freestanding buttons but and we'll see the buttons do see very clicky they might move they might have a little bit of movement in them but it is nothing like some other cases that just yeah the buttons just don't go all right so let's go ahead and bring the scale over here let's see how uh this rugged case let's see what it weighs all right because we are you guys love to see how much these cases weigh so this is going to be up to 50 grams all right so 50 grams so nothing outside of the norm all right i have regular cases that weigh 50 grams that aren't considered rugged so that's a good look right there already from nomad so let's go ahead and pop that space black 14 pro max in here make sure we're all popped in and let's go ahead and take a look all right so here it is let's get up close on that camera module all right got a little fingerprints up there but you get the gist of it all right so nice clean look all right very nice clean look if you're a person who needs that little bit of an extra protection because you you know got the clumsies out there man this is the perfect case i feel like in my opinion because it has both the minimalistic clean look but yet giving you nice protection all right so let's go ahead and take a look around the case so on that top side it's going to be closed of course now on the corners like i said they have the raised bumps they have raised edges around the corners as well so when you rub your finger around there you can tell that it does go up to give you that more shock absorption in those corners so on the right side nothing there except you get that power button which does have a little ribbed texture to it so when you press it nice and tactile nothing wrong with the power button either like i said the buttons have the ever so slightly wiggle to it that's it it is not a wiggle that you can hear when you're shaking the phone or you're going to be able to tell when you actually have your finger on the button don't worry about it if it doesn't bother me trust me it will not bother you because i'm nitpicky when it comes to these cases you get your little nomad branding right down there very calm coming along the bottom side you get your cutouts you do get two lanyard ports if that's what you want to use when it comes to a rugged case on that left side you get their mute toggle fairly easy to get to not too tight to get in there volume very nice and tactile as you can see and they move a little bit as well if you can kind of see 
they do move around a little bit, but it's not bad. It's not a deal breaker when you come to talk, talking about moving around. So good job when it comes to that. Now, taking a look at that lay on the table protection. All right. Now, I do have a tempered glass screen protector up here, and it does have a little lip that goes all the way around it. All right. Make sure all those corners are popped in. But it does have a slight lip that goes all the way around it. So when you set it face down, you're not going to be actually resting it on the actual screen itself. So that's a pretty good look when it comes to that. All right. Now. How does this, and we'll flip it over on the back as well, you know that camera is protected because we already know these cameras, the combination of it having a little slight raise there, but then you also have the raised corners, really gonna protect that camera and really keep it up off any surface that you sit it down on, all right? Now, let's go ahead and talk about the fit. Now, this is the one thing that really, this is not, not surprised me because Nomad cases fit good. This case fits like an absolute glove, tight glove, not just a regular glove, a tight glove, all right? Like like your glove is too small, you know what I mean? Which in a good way. I mean, when you're talking about pulling up here, this is all very strong, solid material. This is anything super flimsy. No, this is gonna be very strong materials on that top, coming along that side. You really got to do any pulling to get this case to pull apart. Even here by the buttons, you gotta pull a good bit. All of this is very thick rubber, re really reinforced. Down here when it comes to the bottom, you're not gonna get any pull. Now, one thing that I did just notice while pulling on this bottom, the bottom lip is actually tapered a little bit because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be able to help you with swipe gestures and different things like that. So nice little touch right there from Nomad. You kind of would miss that almost, but then when I rub my finger right here, you can tell it kind of tapers in so you can get those swipe gestures down without interfering with the case, all right? So nice little touch when it comes to that. So very nice fit. When this case is popped on, it doesn't give you like a super snap, but when I tell you, when this case is on, it is it is on and it's not coming off. This thing is good to go. It is, it is up there. You don't have to worry about it coming off. And how does this case feel in your hands? I really think it feels good. It has a good level of grip. Because of this, this, this kind of angled, the way the sides are cut, I feel like that gives you a good grip. I don't feel this case to be slippery at all, all right? Me using this case, I didn't at one time feel like, yo, this case was slippery. It feels good in my opinion. I feel like everybody will do good with the grip because we know grip is everything when it comes to these cases. If it's gonna be slippery, at least protect it. This case has grip and you'll be protected if you were to drop it, all right? Now, it does add a little bit of heft, not a lot, all right? This is still a rugged case, but I feel like it still keeps things on the thin side, all right? So definitely, definitely keeps things very nice in my opinion, very thin, but yet protective, all right? Go ahead and bring MagSafe over here. Let's go ahead and test that MagSafe strength out. Now, it works just fine with MagSafe, as you can see. Let's do the strength test. Can it pick up this block right here? And it can't pick it up off the ground, but I would consider this medium MagSafe strength, all right? Nomad has never had, like, oh, super strong magnets. They have decent magnets, which is not too weak, not too strong, somewhere right in that middle, all right? Always do my 1 to 10 rating. If I had to give this a rating... I would give it a six, all right? 10 being the most, the strongest, one being very weak. I would give this about a six, all right? So basically when we're talking about the middle of the ground when it comes to their cases. Now let's go ahead and test out some MagSafe accessories as we always do. Apple MagSafe battery pack. This thing is up there. It's not gonna come off if you're one of those people who might wanna slap this on throughout the day and go about your business. This thing is up there. It isn't moving unless you really snap it off. And this is, Although it may not pick up my MagSafe base right here, you can also tell the strength of a MagSafe case by using the accessories, all right? This is good. This right here, I would not have any worries about this thing sliding off unless you really have to take it off yourself, all right? MagSafe wallet popping it up here. Same thing as well. This is up there. It is not coming off, man. So when you test these accessories out, you can really tell the strength of those magnets, man. It definitely is doing a very good job. And just taking it to the next level, super extra big boy magsafe battery pack this thing up here and you're shaking this and it's even having a hard time coming off all right so good job nomad with these magnets man they work really strong when it comes to accessories all right so 
buy or no buy. That's what we're doing at the very end, man. Even if you don't make it to the end of the video, I got the timestamps down here, man. But should you buy this, this case is going to be 50 bucks. I do consider this case a buy. Number one is because when you're talking about a rugged case, it doesn't look like a rugged case. It doesn't give you the normal appearance of a rugged case. It's keeping things very nomad, which is very clean, which is very minimalistic, but yet giving you 15 feet of drop protection and sitting around that $50 price point. Look, yo, sometimes you got to pay for, pay for quality. And this right here is what I would go for over a rugged case over some of the competitors that are charging 60 and, and 70 bucks. I think 50 bucks is very fair, comes in these two colors, and I feel like you get a very nice package when it comes to this rugged case. So I actually ended the video, man, but real quick, I'm gonna insert this somewhere in the actual clip, but I forgot to show you guys the ash green color of this Nomad case. So if you wanna keep things very outdoorish, if you wanna match this, especially with the space black, the ash green definitely gives you a very nice look when it comes to the bezel, when it comes to that green, and I do think it looks very good with that space black, all right? So there it is, ash green, for those who want to see this color here, it is man my fault for not putting it in the video <laughs>